Do you tip photographers for family photos? We're all used to tipping in restaurants or the car wash or valet or coffee shop, similar services like that. But should you tip your photographer? This is a question I get asked all the time and figured I'd finally make a video about it. This one's gonna be short and sweet, and I'll give you my take after 12 years experience on tipping in the photography world. It's showtime. Hello, I'm Mike Lloyd. I've been a professional photographer for 12 years and oh, I feel like I've seen it all. I'm afraid to put that out there because who knows what tomorrow will bring. But I get asked all the time, do we tip our photographer? And so my clients ask, like, can I tip you? Should I tip you? How does this work? First, let's talk about tipping your photographer. If you want to, great. Some photographers will have a place during your reveal process. You know, you pick out your pictures, your album, and as you're swiping your credit card, there'll be an option to leave a tip on there. That is certainly up to you. Some photographers don't believe in doing that. You know, maybe they feel it's tacky or they'd rather just charge more for their services and then count on, on that income. And if you wanna leave a tip, great, but we don't really have a way to facilitate that. I've tried both and I prefer to not have a tipping option in my checkout. I know other photographers do it and they swear by it. It's a personal preference. I will say I've had clients bring flowers and bring me tacos and burritos because they know how much I love Mexican food and other things like that. So you can tip your photographer, you can bring other gifts as well to show your appreciation. Thank you cards are great. Also, there's really no wrong way to show that you appreciate your photographer. Because once you've worked with a really good one, you know it's not just showing up and taking a few quick photos. Like we put our heart and soul into this and we make real connections. I mean, I get invited on camping trips with clients, you know, because I shoot families and corporate clients as well. I get invited to their kids' birthday parties because this goes so much farther beyond just the photos. We're building connections here in the studio. And it's the same thing with my styling team. So that's gonna be the second part of this video is what about tipping the photographer's staff? You know, we start every shoot doing hair and makeup. Half of our time is spent with my client in the makeup chair. And a lot of times my clients will tip the stylist, you know, 20, 40, 60, 100 bucks after they get their hair and makeup done. I never count on that. I plan to pay them, you know, what they charge for every session that they do. It's a nice gesture when the time when clients decide to tip my styling team. I think it's great to show their appreciation. Again, I don't think there's a wrong way or a right way or a preferred way. Any way that you want to show appreciation for your photography team is much appreciated. Some photographers will not accept tips and that's great. Also, don't take it personally. Some just feel uncomfortable receiving money and that's a thing that we work on as well as humans, as professionals, as business owners. So we appreciate that you appreciate us. The feeling is very mutual. However you want to show that is great. And if you are curious about becoming a photographer, head to boudoirguild.com. And I have a ton of videos there where you can learn the business side, the shooting side, and everything in between. You are amazing. I'll see you soon.